Hey folks, how you all doing? So today I'm doing another rankings video. Um, this video is going to be on the eight studio albums by my favourite band of the last 20 odd years and that is Kings of Leon. Um, I could only locate all their CDs today, not all their vinyl, even though I do have this one up there. Um, their latest album, When You See Yourself, but I also have the CD. It's just easier picking up CDs today, so that's what I'm going to do. But as I said, Kings of Leon, my favourite alt-rock band of the last 20 plus years. I'm just going to do a quick review of my least favourite through to favourite. Um, feel free to leave your comments in the comments section below what you think of the band what you think of their albums if you own any etc etc um let's quickly go through from my least favorite to favorite um at number eight on my list we have um when you see yourself that's their latest studio album which is the one behind me on vinyl as well um, it's their eighth and latest album recorded and released in 2021. Not as relentless with the guitars and the guitar sound as their previous albums. Uh, it's a more mature sounding album to me. It just sounds like they've all grown up. Um, things have fallen into place. It's full of beautiful hooks and melodies and really thoughtful, mature lyrics, which is why I think they've they've sound like they've grown up. Um, if you haven't listened to the album but want to hear a song off the album, um, Golden Restless Age is probably a good song that sums up the album for me. Um, as I said, it's number eight on my list out of eight of Kings of Leon, but it still comes in eight or oh, seven and a half out of ten, which is an excellent score for a weakest album by any band. At number seven on my list, I have their seventh album. 2016's Walls. Um, it's a continuation of the style of music on the Mechanical Bull album, which was their sixth album, but slightly for slightly more melodic and catchy. And that melodic and catchiness comes through even more on their most recent album, um, When You See Yourself, which is the one that was at number eight there. Um, if you want to take a listen to a song off the album that sums up the album, um, Around the World is probably the best one to go for this one again um second weakest album by a band it still comes in at seven and a half out of ten now from here on in the final six albums i love all of these and for me to love an album it's got to come in at pretty much over seven and a half out of ten so eight out of ten and above so it's pretty good six albums out of eight being love albums by any any band so here we go at number six on my list i have this one it's their fifth album um it was released in 2010 um clocks in at just over an hour or is that just because i have the deluxe version i don't remember um but it's an hour and one minute which is almost 20 minutes longer than their next longest album so i'd say it's probably the deluxe um because of that but it doesn't say anything like on it on it um the album is the follow up. This album is the follow up to Only by the Night, which has their Sex on Fire and You Somebody singles. Um, this album comes along the same sort of sound and style as that album. It's got um, the Edge from U2 style guitar, jangly vibe to it. Um, it's more commercial and radio friendly sounding than their previous albums and even the albums after it. Um, you want to listen to a track that probably sums up the album mary is probably the pick of the bunch for me and as i said this one comes in eight out of ten i love this album at number five on my list i have the predecessor to um this one come around sundown and this is only by the night this is probably there or oh, it's no doubt is their most successful album it's probably the album that most people would know by the band um simply because it does contain the the worldwide mega hit sex on fire and use somebody um this one was their fourth album by the way it was released in 2008 um it has a more alt rock sound than their three previous albums which had a garage rock grungy post grunge type vibe to them um musically it's very melodic and it has a lot of slick production it's probably their that and come around sundown are probably their two most well polished 
production sounding albums um their career um the guitars had that u2 edge vibe to it um they only did that on two albums come around sundown and this one um but they still sound like kings of leon regardless of that um it's the longest album outside of come around sundown this one clocks in at 42 minutes so you know i said come around sundown was 20 odd minutes longer than this so but yeah a great great album and i've got to say that um sex on fire and use somebody both of those singles actually do sum up the whole vibe of this album so if you don't like those songs you're definitely not going to like this album it comes in at eight out of ten at number four on my list, I have their Sofa More album. This was released in 2004. Um, it's titled Aha Shake Heartbreak. Um, solid, solid collection of rough and ragged garage rock. It's almost along the same lines as um, Neil Young's Crazy Horse on their Ragged Glory type album. It's got that hard edged, rough garage rock sound. And if you have a tinge of Credence Clearwater Revival mixed in with that as well, that's what you're getting on this album. Um, but it does sound slightly more subdued than their debut, but nonetheless, it's still a brilliant album. Um, a good song to check out if you want to feel the vibe of this album. Um, King of the Rodeo is probably the best track on here to sum up the whole vibe of the album. Um, this one comes in 8.5 out of 10 also. At number 3 on my list I have their debut album. It's pretty hard to see that cover of the guys. I'll just take that out of there. It's a very sort of faded cover but I'll take it out. I don't know if you can see that any better. No, it's still pretty faded so I'll put it back in um, this is their debut album um, it was released in 2003 it is a solid solid collection of rough and ragged garage rock it's blistering from the get go absolutely incredible stuff um, but it's still not their best album in my opinion um, but I've, as I said I do love the album I love the top six of their albums it's pretty hard to sometimes rank the albums by an artist when there's so many you love that are so close it's usually only one song that separates them between being number four on the list and number three etc um anyway if you haven't heard this album but you want to hear something that sums up this album listen to molly's chambers it was their debut single and it perfectly sums up the album when you look at the guys um in the videos on this album they've got that almost woodstock hippie type look about them with their long hair and their long beard sort of like ccr sort of wearing three dog night and bands like that um back in the day they've got that feel and vibe to them um but yeah this one comes in at an excellent eight and a half out of ten also at number two on my list of ranking um kings of leon albums i have their third album um, because of the times this was released in 2007 um, it's more that garage rock sound of their first two albums but there's also elements of sudden rock on here as well um, now sudden rock is a bit more melodic and a bit more a few more guitar solos and driven than just garage rock um, it's well produced um, instead of being rough and ragged it's it's slightly more polished than the first two albums um, if you want to check out a song that sums up the album, I'd go for Pistol on Fire, which has a real Credence Clearwater Revival vibe to it, without actually sounding too much like Credence. But still an excellent, excellent album. This one, again, like the last couple, or the last three, comes in at 8.5 out of 5. Now, when I do these, and you've got you know three or four albums that do rank 8.5 out of 10 whatever you know the thing that separates them is my favorite track from each album what i do i go back and look at my favorite track off each of the albums play the favorite track and go well that's better than the favorite track from this album or that album and that's the way i end up ranking these you know two three four and five when they're all scored the same so just 
just gives you an idea of how I do rank these when that happens. Um, my favourite album and number one on my list of Kings of Leon albums um, is Mechanical Bull. Um, this was their sixth album. was released in 2013. This one gets away from the melodic, well-polished, jingle-jangle, edge-type guitar sounds of Come Round Sundown and um, Only By The Night. This sort of returns to their elements of garage rock. So it's got all those catchy moments of Only By The Night and Come Round Sundown, but it's also got their edgier sound of their earlier albums as well. So it's a real... It's a real combination of everything they've done, but they've perfected it all on this album. For me, that's the way I feel about it. Um, if you want to listen to a song that sums up this album, I would go for Temple. I don't know if it was a single, but you'll certainly find an audio track of it on YouTube. This one comes in at a masterful 9 out of 10 for me. Um, to make it my favourite album, Kings of Leon. That said, though, when I do these rankings, you know, my bottom two albums, Walls and um, When You See Yourself, they are slightly lower. I like them albums, really like them, but I don't love them. With any of the other six albums on any given week, I could change my mind as to which one I like best and which one comes in first place, which one comes in sixth place. They're pretty, pretty that even that it's just what it is on the day. Um, as I had this one out, I thought I would show this one, um, the vinyl of this. Um, this is the exclusive independent record stores um, vinyl. Got this one, so it's on double vinyl. And as opposed to the CD, which is that colour, this one is red and it's on beautiful double vinyl. I just thought I'd show this while I'm here, you know. And it's beautiful cream colour on there. And of course, the second vinyl is exactly the same. But yeah, it's just a beautiful, beautiful cream colour. So, anyway, I just thought I wanted to show that because it was up there and some people might think, oh, it's a different vinyl to what I've got or what I've seen. Um, so I just, yeah, I just thought I'd show that one anyway. But um, I have one more vinyl of Kings of Leon. The rest is just on CD because that was the year I was buying CDs. Anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching. Um, leave your comments below. Um, what do you think of Kings of Leon? If you've never heard them or haven't heard much of them, Go for two or three of the albums that I ranked really high. Um, not everything they ever did is like Sex on Fire, which really isn't a favourite song of mine. Um, but it is for a lot of people, and it got them into the band. Anyway, guys, um, as I said, thanks for watching. Um, stay safe, take care. All for now. Catch you around, and bye, folks.